they want to be known as, but Europeans gave them the name Khoisan. Other name that's given to them as well is the Bush. So you will find them from the tip of Africa all the way up to about the top. <coughs> what they used to be something like about 750,000 oh, people. Right? Because of, with the arrival of the Dutch, many of them perished during a chicken pox uh, epidemic uh. at the Cape. Mm. Right? To the extent that numbers plummeted something like 70 percent but in the meantime they also interbred with other slaves that they brought to the cape children born of that union was called by the dutch their brain children their brown children or their bastards we also had the influx of people coming from the indonesian islands the cape malays they also came in so to discern between these people when in 1910 they created the Union of South Africa with an agreement between the British and the Boers, which is the Dutch descendants, they created a race group right, that more solidified in 1950 right, when the then apartheid government created the current name. And they put all those people together into the grouping called Colored. So that they, they did not have to control too many minorities. So if, like, with, say for instance, in the government, they will, would have had to create a department for every minority. They decided we're not going to do that. We're going to lump all of them together as colored, easier to control. So then they created this group, put them all together, and people started to interbreed. To today that, that there is a national identity of what is colored. Mm. During during our fight for freedom we all called us we all said we black and we're fighting to get ourselves free as black people. But then at the end of our fight, the new government they just perpetuated that. They just kept going on with that. They didn't say we're now going to strip away what is colored and everybody's black. They just kept going on. Mm. So that's why today still referred to as coming. Really? Wow. So we use a term. We, uh, there's a saying that we normally say is during apartheid, we were not white enough. Now during democracy, we are not black, black enough. enough. So when it comes to black economic empowerment, uh, they use language as a barrier. Because you can't really use skin color, because in the color community we've got all the different hues of color. Right, right. Um, and growing up, we would make fun of our cousins. We nicknames would be according to your skin color. Yeah, mm -hmm. we, and we do that in the right. U.S. Light so skin, if dark we skin. Got a light skin cousin or brother, we would call him Pura or Whitey. If we had a dark skin cousin or brother, we would call him Darky. It's just, yeah, it was a term of endearment. It became a term of endearment rather than derogatory. But yeah, that's what we are sitting with today. But just to give you context of colored and black. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the plane 